We've already done teleportation. Teleported, it's been a prediction of quantum theory for decades, and we've done it with small particles, so single particles. So the question is, can, it, can you do it with bigger things? Don't know, is the answer. But it's been done with the smallest particles. Reports surfaced claiming something impossible happened in an MIT quantum lab. A particle was supposedly teleported across their system, and then a ghost copy appeared back where it started. Two identical quantum states existing at once. Physics says this can't happen. But here's what makes this claim terrifying. MIT's quantum team has been pushing boundaries that other labs won't touch. They've simulated wormholes using quantum computers. They've entangled particles across impossible distances. And they've been using AI systems to control experiments in ways we've never seen before. If even a fraction of these reports are true, we're not talking about a simple lab error. We're talking about a violation of the most fundamental rules of reality, the no cloning theorem, a principle that has stood unbroken for over 40 years, might have just cracked. Some researchers who heard these whispers used a phrase that sends chills down any physicist's spine. They went too far. Think about it. If quantum information can somehow duplicate itself, if particles can leave ghost copies behind, then everything we know about secure communications, quantum computing, and the basic fabric of space-time needs to be rewritten. But what exactly could cause a quantum ghost to appear? And why are some scientists now afraid that we've opened a door we can never close? Here's what most people don't realize about quantum physics. We've already seen particles leave traces that shouldn't exist. At MIT's Center for Ultra-Cold Atoms, researchers have observed something called residual coherence. They cool atoms down to nearly absolute zero manipulate their quantum states, then watch what happens. The atoms should lose all their quantum properties instantly, but they don't. Faint traces linger, ghostly signatures that persist for seconds, sometimes minutes, after the original state was supposedly destroyed. Then there's quantum ghost imaging. Scientists at labs worldwide use entangled photons to photograph objects. But here's the twist. The photons that create the image never actually touch the object being photographed. The photons that hit the object don't contribute to the image at all. It's as if the object is being seen by its quantum ghost. This isn't theory. It's happening in labs right now. In nuclear magnetic resonance facilities, researchers regularly see quantum echoes. A signal disappears completely from their instruments. Gone. But then, minutes later, it reappears out of nowhere. The quantum information somehow stored itself in hidden degrees of freedom and came back. We already know quantum systems can leave strange traces behind. Information that should vanish can hide and resurface. Particles can interact with objects they never touch. The universe keeps quantum backups we didn't know existed. What if MIT's teleportation experiment just found the most extreme version of this phenomenon? What if they discovered that Quantum information doesn't just leave traces, it can leave complete copies of itself. Imagine, you delete a file on your computer, it's gone, but then, a few seconds later, it reappears, without you hitting undo. That's what this quantum after image feels like, a state that was supposed to be destroyed, somehow resurrecting itself. If quantum information can duplicate itself, every secure communication system on Earth becomes vulnerable overnight. And if that's true, it's not just physics that's at stake, it's security. The national security stakes. Here's why this matters beyond the lab. Quantum teleportation isn't just a physics experiment. It's the backbone of the most secure communication system ever conceived. When you teleport a quantum state, the information becomes completely unhackable. Any attempt to intercept or copy the data destroys it instantly. That's the entire point. China, Russia, and the US are racing to build quantum communication networks because whoever controls them controls the future of secure information. But if quantum states can leave ghost copies behind, that changes everything. Imagine you're sending classified military data through quantum teleportation. You think it's impossible to intercept, but what if there's a faint quantum echo lingering at the transmission point? What if that ghost contains enough information for an enemy to reconstruct your message? DARPA has invested billions in quantum communication research. The NSA has entire divisions dedicated to quantum cryptography. 
If even the possibility exists that teleported information leaves traces, every intelligence agency on the planet would want to know about it immediately. And here's the terrifying part. China is already ahead in this race. In 2017, their Maisha satellite successfully teleported quantum states from Earth to orbit, over 500 kilometers away. They've built quantum communication networks spanning thousands of miles across their territory. If MIT just uncovered a fundamental glitch in quantum teleportation, and China's scientists figure out how to exploit it first, the United States could lose the quantum arms race before most Americans even knew we were fighting it. Before I show you how MIT's ghost connects to wormholes and reality itself, make sure to hit subscribe. You don't want to miss what's coming. Remember, this wasn't supposed to happen. The laws of physics explicitly forbid quantum information from duplicating itself. And yet, MIT may have stumbled on a doorway into something far stranger than science predicted. What they found next suggests we're not just dealing with a communication security issue. We might be looking at evidence that reality itself has backup systems we never knew existed. Now, here's where things get mind-bending. MIT's quantum team wasn't just doing standard teleportation experiments. In 2022, they collaborated with Caltech and Google to create something unprecedented. They simulated a traversable wormhole using quantum computers. They didn't rip open space-time, but they did send quantum information through what their computers treated as a wormhole-like structure. The researchers described it as quantum information traversing a bridge through space-time. What if MIT's later experiments were still operating in that regime? What if they were still probing the boundary between quantum mechanics and space-time geometry? Because if you're manipulating quantum states in ways that mimic wormhole physics, you might accidentally create effects that normal quantum theory doesn't predict. Some theorists are now proposing something called time-lagged quantum echoes. The idea is that quantum information could re-emerge not instantly, but after a delay, like the universe has a memory replay button that activates on its own schedule. This connects to one of physics' biggest mysteries, the holographic principle. The theory suggests that all the information in any volume of space can be stored on its boundary, like a cosmic backup drive. If that's true, then maybe every quantum state that ever existed leaves an imprint somewhere in the fabric of reality. What if every action, every quantum state, every particle that's ever been teleported leaves behind a ghost copy, not just in the lab, but embedded in space-time itself? Here's a question for you. If a ghost copy of a particle can reappear, could a ghost copy of a thought, or even a person, exist too? Drop your take in the comments before we reveal how far this idea could really go. Rehook it five minutes. Because what MIT may have glimpsed isn't just a glitch in their equipment. It could be the first proof that reality has layers, quantum layers that overlap and interact in ways we never imagined possible. The human impact. Let's make this personal. If quantum information can leave ghost copies, imagine what that means for everything we think we know about permanence. Every photo you've deleted, every text message you've sent, every memory you've forgotten. What if none of it ever truly disappears? What if it's all still there, stored in quantum layers of reality we're just now learning to detect? Scientists already believe consciousness might emerge from quantum processes in the brain. If quantum states can duplicate themselves, if they can reappear after being destroyed, then maybe our thoughts, our memories, our very sense of self could persist in ways we never imagined. Consider digital resurrection. Right now, when data is erased, we assume it's gone forever. But if MIT's discovery proves that quantum information leaves recoverable traces, we might be able to restore anything. Conversations with deceased loved ones, lost works of art, historical records that were thought destroyed, it's all inspiring and terrifying at the same time. Because if our universe allows ghosts of information to exist, then nothing is ever truly gone. Every mistake, every secret, every moment of your life might be permanently archived in the quantum structure of space-time. Think of your own life. Every memory you've ever had, every thought you've lost. What if they're still out there, imprinted somewhere in the quantum fabric of reality? That's the kind of question MIT's ghost forces us to ask. But there's an even more unsettling possibility. 
if teleportation technology ever advances to complex objects, and if ghost copies can appear, you might not just get transported, you might get duplicated. Two versions of the same person with identical memories, both convinced they are the original. And if that doesn't send chills down your spine, wait until you hear how this ghost effect might already be happening in quantum experiments around the world. We just haven't been looking for it. Now, let's break down how quantum teleportation actually works because understanding the process makes MIT's alleged ghost even more extraordinary. Picture three characters, Alice, Bob, and Charlie. Charlie is the particle whose quantum state Alice wants to send to Bob across the lab. Alice and Bob share an entangled pair of particles. Think of them as quantum twins, mysteriously connected no matter how far apart they are. Here's the process. Alice takes Charlie and performs a joint measurement with her half of the entangled pair. This destroys Charlie's original state completely. But the measurement creates two classical bits of information, like a recipe that Bob can use to recreate Charlie's state. Alice sends those two bits to Bob through normal communication. When Bob receives them, he performs a specific operation on his entangled particle. If everything works perfectly, Bob's particle now holds the exact same quantum state Charlie originally had. The information has been teleported. The crucial point, Charlie's original state is gone, destroyed. The no cloning theorem established in 1982 says you cannot make perfect copies of unknown quantum states. Teleportation works because it's cut and paste, not copy and paste. This process has been proven repeatedly. In 1997, researchers first teleported a photon state across a lab bench. By 2002, teams were teleporting states with no physical connection between sender and receiver. In 2017, China's Maisha satellite teleported quantum information from Earth to orbit, over 500 kilometers away. Each breakthrough confirmed the same principle. The original state vanishes when teleported, no exceptions. But MIT's experiments go beyond simple communication. Their 2022 wormhole simulation showed that teleportation can probe the deepest foundations of physics, the relationship between quantum mechanics and space-time geometry itself. When you're working at that frontier, testing theories that connect quantum information to the structure of reality, you might encounter effects that standard teleportation theory doesn't predict. MIT's quantum after image may never appear in a peer-reviewed journal. The details might already be classified in the government files. The researchers involved might never be allowed to speak publicly about what they observed. But if the anomaly is real, it represents something unprecedented in physics, a violation of principles that have stood unbroken for decades. Evidence that quantum information can duplicate itself under conditions we don't yet understand. This changes everything we thought we knew about the nature of information, about the permanence of quantum states, about the very structure of reality. If quantum ghosts can appear in one MIT lab, they might be appearing in labs around the world. We just haven't been looking for them. And if MIT's team really went too far, if they pushed their experiment beyond the boundaries of known physics and glimpsed something they weren't supposed to see, maybe that's exactly what it takes to reach the next level of human understanding. The universe might have layers we never imagined. Quantum backup systems. Information that persists even after being destroyed. Reality with memory. So what do you think? Did MIT stumble onto a forbidden corner of physics? Or is this just the first hint of a breakthrough too big to reveal yet? Either way, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the moment we find out. Whether MIT's quantum ghost was real or not, we're living in an age where the impossible is becoming routine. Particles teleporting across continents, information traveling through simulated wormholes, quantum computers that might tap into parallel realities. The next breakthrough could come from any lab at any time. And when it does, you'll want to be ready to understand what it means for all of us.